is Amanda. Welcome to my channel. So, uh, this is a really interesting video, and this was kind of requested by a viewer of ours, uh, by our, I mean Jessica and Paula and myself, and we all kind of dug the idea of how do we go ahead and use black eyeshadow or dark eyeshadows, that kind of thing. I decided to stick with black. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what others are doing. I think Paula's doing black, and I think Jessica's doing blue. I'm not exactly sure. I would not be surprised because for her, dark blue or any kind of blue really is really hard. So I immediately got to work. Once we set a date, I was like, I am game for this. I went and I sat down and I played and I made a mess. A mess. It, it was, it was, but it was an, an enjoyable, fun experience. It was an experience to go ahead and do what I did. So the first thing that I want to show you, and this right here was inspired by Janine by a com. It was just a conversation that we had a long time ago. So this one, Janine, is for you. I went ahead and I took an OPI quick dry top coat it was it's actually the rapid dry and it was the only clear polish that I had at, um, and I really kind of didn't want to use a quick dry but I really wanted to do this so I did it anyway and so what I did was I used this was originally clear obviously I took two black eyeshadows and I put it in here and the color that I got was what is on the color wheel right here and it is, it was opaque. It did take, you know, a couple of coats to go ahead and do. So Janine, yes, you can go ahead and do two eyeshadows and a clear polish and get a black polish. And then what I decided to do was I took it a step further and I used um, one of the Born Pretty glitters that you can get for your nails, which is what I've been doing. And it looks like this. So you can go ahead and, and, and it does make a mess, I'm not gonna lie. So make sure that you have like paper or paper towel or something underneath it. And so I went ahead and I did that and it created like this green type of look. And so the color that I ended up getting was this right here, if you can tell, it is a very, very pretty green. This right here is an old color wheel from my first project polish. So that is the green that I ended up getting. And I'm really happy with that because I was able to use up two black eyeshadows and, you know, a glitter. And I have a cool nail polish. And yes, the quick dry still works on it because I, I just know that I'm going to be asked that. And I was curious about that myself. So the quick dry part still works. And the only thing about the glitters is you do have to go ahead and mix it up and stir it up and stuff like that. Just an example of another one that I have. It's not in front of me, so never mind. Uh, you could do that with pretty much any top coat is just even just put the glitter in it and of course it doesn't have to be black eyeshadow it could be any color eyeshadow that you want but I just think that that's just a really cool idea to go ahead and use up eyeshadows that you don't necessarily like and you like nail polish so there you go you've always wanted a yellow nail polish use a yellow eyeshadow you know whatever use whatever your heart is content with that's what you should do. So the next one that I want to go ahead and show you is this eyeshadow. Yes, this eyeshadow right here started out with a black. And I'll go ahead and give it a little swatch. That's the shade right there. And this was a little bit of a pain to take a black eyeshadow and make it not a black eyeshadow to make it actually something that is usable and kind of neutral that you'd be okay with using all the time. And so what I did was I took the shade Fairy Tale from the Natural Love palette. I'll have the pictures of the palette somewhere on the screen so you can go ahead and see. And uh, I chose the fairy tale one because that one is very chunky. I use that in makeup mix up where I 
put it on my lips because I wanted to find other ways to use it. So I used it for this one. And then I used Revolver Alien Last Sin Bobby and Bobby Dazzle from the Vice 3. I used that all to get this shade and it created a lot. It created so much more than this. So then I was like, well, I like this shadow, but this is not exactly a highlighter, but I don't think it's gonna take much more to go ahead and make it a highlighter. I, I, I was wrong. I was wrong. So I took what was the rest of this and I added some stuff and some things and I created this. This right here, it doesn't even shut. Okay, it barely shuts. This is the full size Becca Rose Gold. And this is what I created. And I'll go ahead and give that a swatch. And that is the highlighter that I created. So, with the shadows that are in this, I took the, Car the Carly Bible Deluxe Palette, which I did not want to do because I love that palette. But... It really had the shades that I was looking for. So I took the two, um, I took two of the rectangle highlighters and two of the shadows. And I also took, in the regular palette, I took the first two highlighters and the first row, second shade of that palette, and then the second row and the second shade of that palette. In fact, let me get the deluxe palette. Okay, so this right here is a deluxe palette. I know that it looks different. It looks a mess. But I took the highlighters that were originally here and here and the two shadows that were here and here. And I mixed that up along with the uh, regular color Bible palette. And the reason why this looks a mess is because I was actually able to empty out the Carly Bible palette and uh, put it all into one. So whenever I decide to go ahead and pan this, I'll actually be panning two of the palettes. And so I figure, and besides, there's repeat shades. So I was able to fit them into um, the big rectangle thingies. So I am pretty happy with this and what I created. Let's see if I can go ahead and make a better swatch of that. There we go. I really do think that it is pretty. And the thing about it is if you want to go ahead and do that and you're like, man, I really don't want to use it. Or if you change your mind at a later time, you can always put it in a lotion which honestly is probably what I'm going to end up doing anyway because I'm really liking the glowiness that it does. So for a long time, Jessica and I have been talking about eyeliners and making our own eyeliner. And I don't know why neither of us sat there and actually did it. So for this experiment, I really decided to go ahead and do it. I didn't use black but you guys can go ahead and use whatever you want to. But I did use a dark shadow and I used one that I was using to set my liner anyway. And that's the Darling Girl Pigment in uh, Ultraviolet, which is a purple. And I'll go ahead and I'll zoom you in to show you what it looks like. So this right here is what it looks like. I don't have anything to set it or anything like that. It's just the liner. So what I did to go ahead and do this, I put some water into it, just straight up water and not a whole lot of water, just a few drops at a time. And I mixed it up and yes, it will end up being liquidy. But after that, I ended up going ahead and putting in a very tiny amount of the face primer that I have, the Laura Geller face primer primer any primer will work and um, I ended up putting that in there and it ended up being really really liquidy and 
afterwards it ended up like after it sat for a couple of days it was no longer liquidy and it ended up being really really um, easy to use I've never used a liner like this before and the staying power seems to be doing great I mean I've already had this on for a couple of hours so I mean take it for what you will I think that this is great to use for any color at all so I'm just so glad that you asked us to go ahead and do this little uh, dark eyeshadow, black eyeshadow experiment because I would have never sat down and actually done this. So I think in the long run, this is gonna save some money and we're gonna be able to make some really fun colors. And that's pretty much the point of experimenting and frightening products and things like that just to find new uses for things, things that you wouldn't think of, things that you wouldn't take the time for. So I really appreciate it and let me know what your favorite ways are to use black eyeshadow because I really want to hear them. And be sure to go ahead and check out Jessica and Paula. They will be linked down below. And that is all that I have for you. And I want you guys to have a wonderful day and I will see you guys next time. Bye!